Do you have a rocket like this one here where the paint finish is less than optimal and you want to restore it to something that's showroom new again? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, I've got this rocket that someone gave me and they were trying to fix it because there was a lot of problems with it. It all started be with the crazing of the paint right here when they painted the green over the white, the white paint crazed and that's kind of like it, it, it shrivels up and crinkles and it happens because the solvents in the top layer got into the bottom layer and caused it to soften. And it's a paint incompatibility issue. And it happens all the time. And it's because modern paints are not as good as the older ones before the EPA took control of things. So that's what started it. Um, and then there was some bleed over of the green into the white in this area. And I told the person that you're probably going to have to take all the paint off and start sanding it again. And so they started sanding it down and they used a, a wood dowel. And you can see they kind of, in this area, they, they, they got too deep and now they're into the balsa wood. And at that point, they pretty much said, I give up. Um, I need help. And so they came to the expert and I'm not a painting expert. Um, so they didn't go to the expert, they came to me. Um, so uh, I've got some close-up images of the rocket and um, I'll kind of show you what's going on. Um, the, the back is mostly okay. There's some spots that I would try to fix, like down here on the root edge of the green fin. Um, they got some overspray of white or they didn't get enough green on that area. Um, here on the green fin, um, they had a paint run and you can feel it. It just feels like a big old lump. And the paint also kind of, when it dried, it dried unevenly. And yeah, that was an issue. The silver paint is, is okay. It, it just, it doesn't quite shine like silver paint. Uh, but the green here is the, the big problem um, where it crazed, as I said. Um, and then this is a really complex paint pattern where you got a green edge, but it was supposed to be white or green on this side, white on that side. And so uh, fixing that issue. And it was also supposed to have a silver leading edge and, you know, silver around there. Uh, and then we got some overspray here on the, the body tube at the front of the fin. And then on the back side, as they were trying to sand it down, they, they put it on some, some uh, pedestals like this, and it kind of uh, scuffed up the bottom surface, which was okay. So all that has to be fixed as well. The decals were put on, um, and you can see they're, they're flaking off. And so the first step in this process is to try to remove those decals. And these are water slide decals, and the way I usually take them up is I'll take some masking tape like this and put it around over the decal, press it down, burnish it down real good, and then peel it off. You can see that decal came right off. Um, the decals are going to have to be replaced, uh, and really the only thing to do is to go to the manufacturer of the kit and ask them if they have decals or else you have to try to make your own, which is totally possible. There's, there's decal paper you can buy these days that you can run in an inkjet or um, a laser printer, and they'll just print right on the decal paper, and it's just like the real decal. The only issue is you can't do white. And, and on the back of this decal, so now we're looking at the back side of this decal, and you can see it's white. Um, so the way they make decals like that is, is they put down white first and then they put the color on top of it so that the whatever color is underneath doesn't 
come through because the decals are so thin. They're almost semi-transparent. Uh, yeah, so these have to come off too. So trying to do those white decals, yeah, they're really the only thing to do is to go to the manufacturer and say, hey, can I buy a new set of decals? Um, if they don't want to come off like with, with tape, um, then we're going to sand them off. Um, so I'm going to try to get this decal here that goes around the perimeter. Like that. It came off really nice and easy. See that came off too. You can see that I, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see a little bit of overspray on the white. Uh, the silver was put down first and the white on top of it and, and it wasn't the masking tape right in this area wasn't pressed down hard enough and white got underneath. I'm going to leave this. Okay, take that off. Now this part here where, where I got a little bit of um, a paint run, I think I'm going to leave that. I think I'm just going to leave all the green and I'm gonna mask off all of this white right here and basically just redo the front. So um, it's a matter of masking it off. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at this line, this line right here, I'm looking at it and it's, and it's not exactly straight but there was a decal over the top of that. And so if we put that decal right there, it can kind of mask that line. So when I mask this, I am gonna mask it around that edge right there. You can see I left the tape pretty long right here because I wanna go up onto that fin and I really wanna make that really tight and I'm pressing down, burnishing it down with my fingernail right along that edge so that no paint is gonna go underneath there. And it's the same here coming up over the fin. Okay, so I wanna get right in that edge, push that down hard before I push this side down. In fact, I might just tear that off. And start with a new piece on the other side. So on here, um, this launch lug is kind of in the way, so I need a thinner piece of masking tape. Because I don't want to go over the launch lug. I want to be nice and flat, so I'm just kind of trying to tear this here. If you can't tear it, then I'll start with a new piece. Let's do it right. Um, usually these problems happen when you're trying to do it too fast. And I'm going pretty slow here, um, so this might be a multi-part video. Yeah, the first part is just, and, and what I'm doing here is mainly for, uh, I'm masking it off, not for painting, but for sanding, because I'm going to have to sand off all this, this paint. And I want to protect this paint here on this side. So um, eventually um, all this is going to come off when I, when I go to repaint. So at this point it's for protection of the paint that's underneath. Oops, I don't want to get that on that decal there. Because that would be bad. You can see this is definitely not straight. Or mine is not straight. Okay, so I'm gonna max, mask this off right here, the green, because I wanna save that. Um, and then my next step after that is to start sanding. And I've gotta sand off all this paint and I got to be careful. I don't want to get into the wood again because if I get into the wood, it's gonna. I have to seal it. 
um, because I'm into raw balsa wood right at this point. Um, that's not sealed, that's raw balsa wood. Um, so I've got some 150 grit sandpaper right here and I'm gonna have to use my hands to sand this off. And this is gonna be a lot of work. Uh, I'm not gonna kid you, restoring something takes a lot of work. I can't use any solvents on it because we got wood products here. Um, so it's just a matter of sanding it off. And as you're sanding, you gotta watch out that your paint doesn't gum up your sandpaper. Um, when it starts gumming up, you'll know it because um, you, you flip your sandpaper over and it's just caked, you know, like this area right there. Something got in there. So you want to tr try to clean it off as much as you can as you're going. Okay, so I'm gonna be sanding for a long time here and I'll come back when there's something else to see.